My name is Uriah Faber. I'm a professional fighter for the UFC, and I've been collecting the finest fight stories from around the world. I'm a connoisseur, if you will. So sit back, relax, and enjoy fight stories. Let's get started, my man, and cheers. Hey, good to meet you, bro. So I guess I, I must have been like 22, 23, something like that. We're at uh, an old neighborhood bar, me and my friends. It's like okay. the kind of bar where like the name has changed over the past five years a million times. You know, just kind of like, oh, this this owner fucked up and that owner fucked up and this, this shit-ass location. My buddy, uh, he was a little bit drunk and he was accidentally bumping into people on his way over to the bar again. He's <laughs> a good guy. He was a There's really, always you know, that guy at the bar. That's a, Yeah, exactly. He's, he's kind of like, you know, the village idiot. I mean, and like he was just being a nice guy, trying to make his way back to the bar, saying hi to everybody, bumps into a guy who's playing pool, and uh, says sorry right away. So this guy turns around, you fucked up my game, man, you fucked up my game. And he starts being a real douche about it, telling my buddy, like, you know, all right, just get the fuck out of my bar. It's no problem, man. It's no problem. Just get the fuck out of my bar. Your buddy, is, is he guy. reacting? Is he stuttering around? He's is absolutely he... a stuttering, drunken retard. And, <laughs> and he is apologizing Maybe profusely. Maybe one of those hats with the spinner on a dun it? Oh, no, a fucking dunce cap with a helicopter <laughs> little thing on top of it is what he deserved. He was a total jackass. But my buddy just sticks his hand out to shake, you know, the guy's hand. The guy smacks his hand away. And at this point, I knew that he's about to get down in the bar. So right. I just walk up to the guy and I'm like, look, man, my buddy's sorry. My buddy's really drunk. If you have a problem that we have to take outside, please do it with me, not him. I'm kind of nailing myself to the cross for my friend over here. Does he take I mean, you up on the offer? Yes, he does. He take, Of course, he takes me up on the offer because he wants to get down and, you know, show all of his people that he's a cool guy. So we go outside which is conveniently in an alley. It's very cinematic and all that. We know we got dumpsters, we got the whole shebang. And uh, he says, you should know, I'm a black belt. I didn't ask him what he's a black belt in. I assume he's a black belt in many different things. Yeah, because all sorts he's, of shit that doesn't yeah, come Yeah, you know, where, where like they, they teach him nothing about Eastern philosophy and being at peace with yourself, but how to fuck a guy up in a fucking bar. You know, he's got all that shit going on. So he throws a spin kick at me that lands right the fuck on the side of my head <laughs> and hurts like a bitch. <laughs> like, I don't know how the hell I did it, but I catch his uh, leg and I come to, and he's not doing anything. He's not doing uh, any kind of Jean-Claude Van Damme spinning up you know, over his other leg or helicoptering or whatever the hell it's called. So I just look at his nuts and I look at him and I gave him the worst uppercut I've probably given anybody straight to his nuts. And he made a noise like this pig that was dying and he immediately went down. And I decided that since I was on top, instead of being noble about it, I'm drunk, kind of, sort of, anyway. Finishing moves. So I might as well, well, I made about eight or nine finishing moves. I just kept <laughs> punching him in the nuts as hard as I could. <laughs> Like a goddamn three-year-old. Yeah, like a fucking nut master three-year-old <laughs> going after the abusive stepfather, finally. Like, I fucking, I fucking, and I told you, don't ever fuck with me again. I'm going to grow up one day. I'm going to be bigger than you. you know. But I nailed him in the nuts at least nine times. And then I finally did go for his nose just to make it pretty. And uh, his nose blew up. His nose <laughs> fucking blew up. It's it was a street a, fight. It was Holy a beautiful piece goddamn. of art. Oh, it was beautiful. And blood went all over his shirt. I'm sure there's no way he dry cleaned it to the proper place where it used to be. So it was a well, beautiful cheers, thing. cheers, my man. Cheers. You are a hero. Great to meet you, bro. No, True to form. Indeed. The moral of the story, guys, do not be that D-bag. Don't start a fight. But if you have a great fight where you're the hero and you had to put someone in their place, we'd love to hear about it.